Hey everybody, it's Chris from PC Addicts. This video I want to talk about keyboard trays. You know, little trays that go underneath your desk and you put your keyboard on and your mouse. Quick question for you guys. Do you guys use them? Post down below please. Do you guys use them? Have you used them in the past? Do you like them? Do you hate them? Um, you just put your keyboard on top of your desk and then use it that way. That's the way I've done it for many years. Sometimes I'll use my tray uh, with my big corner desk that I have, but I no longer have, I no longer have that desk. Um, now I use a little tiny corner desk that my dad made for me and also made one over there for Shannon and uh, there's not a whole lot of room on the desk but I, that's what I wanted I asked him if he could make me something you know I, I told him I, I wanted a real small desk just a corner desk something I could just throw my monitors on and put a keyboard tray under and then that way I can adjust my chair height and I can adjust my whole keyboard to go with my chair to however I'm sitting. Sometimes I like to lay back in the chair, kind of bring the keyboard to me, you know, here. Sometimes I like to sit up high so my legs are, you know, more of an ergonomic, I'm sitting in a more ergonomic position. Um, it really depends on what I'm doing, how I'm feeling, what time of the day it is. And uh, if you guys are like me, I sit in 20 different positions throughout the day. At work, I sit on a computer uh, the majority of the day and, you know, at work I don't have a keyboard tray at the moment, but I'm thinking about getting one. And this one luckily was given to me, so um, I didn't have to spend any money on it, but um, I'm looking to get another one. I, I currently put a different model, one that my dad had, on Shannon's desk. Um, she's going to try it out today, but Let's take a quick look at this one and tell me, tell me your guys' thoughts. And then I'll tell you my thoughts as well, too. Alright, so you guys are down here a little bit lower. Um, I just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of a, a view of the adjustments and how it, uh, how it moves around and everything. This is a Han Samba. I think it, it's a H-O-N is the manufacturer. And the model is Samba, S-A-M-B-A. And you can find them on their sites. There's a lot of cool little features about this thing. And at first I didn't think I was going to like it. But as I'm using it, I'm getting used to it. And I actually, I prefer it over setting everything up on a desk. First thing up, you'll notice this keyboard. It's a round circle thing of a bobber, right? And you got your little gel pad. You know, I was never a fan of all that stuff. But now that I'm getting a little older, my, I have a wrist problem. I have a little hole in my tendon right here. And um, I get pain when I use the mouse too much. I'm actually thinking about getting one of those trackballs. That's another story. But anyways, um, so this little thing actually moves around. You can move it however you like. And you can turn your little pad. So if you want to sit like that, you know, you can do that. And yeah, it, it kind of goes down. But when you rest your arm on it, but that's just because I, I loosen them up so I can do the video. And I can show you guys all the little adjustments. I mean, you can move it up here. If you wanted it up here more, you can have it at, a, at an angle if you want to put your keyboard up and have that like that or whatever. You can do pretty much do it however you like. Um, now, with the keyboard tray, you got like these little rubber pieces here to help keep the keyboard in place. That's cool, whatever. You got another gel pad right here. It's good for the wrist, because I like simple keyboards. I don't like the big keyboards with all the junk on it. Um, now, this thing can go down, and it can go all the way up to be as high as the, the desk. Now, I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but this thing has like a bend to it. It's, it's kind of tweet. It's, it's, it's got a little flex to it, and I don't like that. I, I'm picky about that stuff, but whatever. It is what it is. Now, another cool feature is this mouse. If you're a left-hander, you can actually take this bracket off down here, put it on the left side, and then, uh, you know, use it as a left-handed person. Now, aside from going up and down, you also got this thing tilts, and it tilts both directions. Sometimes, the way I sit, I, I wouldn't mind it to be down more, you know what I mean? Um, sometimes I like it up. Also, it turns. So sometimes, I'm, sometimes I like to sit over here, so I can out the window. Sometimes I, I may sit over here, so that way you know, somebody else can sit here next to me and we can, whatever, do some live streaming or something. But um, it's, a, it's a very nice... It's a very nice setup. <clears throat> it, would I spend the full amount on Han's site for this? No, 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 no. No way. Um, 
luckily I, I was able to get my hands on this. I'm trying to get a, another one. I'm trying to find a used one. You know, I'll buy another one if, to match it over there on Shannon's side. But, um, you know, Shannon's got a little bit different model. Uh, my dad kind of made it his own little style and everything. Maybe I'll show you guys that one on another video. But what do you guys think? Do you guys like keyboard trays? You know, what do you think of this one? Um, is this something that you guys would, if, 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 if it were given to you, would it be something that you would use? Um, try out at least. See, I don't have a whole lot of room up here, and, and I like to be able to adjust my chair height so I can actually try to be a little more ergonomic at times, you know? It's working out for me. I like it. That's my story. I'm sticking to it.